yeah, second part is going to be choosing where your notes are going to be uh, appearing on the screen. By default, it's going to always spawn at the very bottom of the screen, uh, which is going to be really boring looking. So you want to kind of place them in a, at least somewhat of a pattern and everywhere on the screen. So let's select the note. And remember, the second category is for the uh, placements of where they're going to be appearing. So we're going to go into that now. And you'll see two more options. The first option is you can manually just move the notes on the grid, which is the most accurate way. And the second one is the preset. I never used a preset, but I'll show you that anyways. Let's first go to the one that I do use, which is the manual. And let's go in there. So here you can see the uh, notes are appearing at the bottom, like I said, and they will always go from uh, left to right, sorry, from right to left, <laughs> and repeating basically, so right to left, and then go appear back on the right side and uh, back to the left side. It won't go right left, and then back to right, and then back to left. So just like that, so go like this, and then appear back on the right side, and go back to the left side again. So you don't want to have that the whole way through, you want to change it up. So once you select it, you'll see a little arrow moving, that's just showing you where it's going to fly from the screen, which corner of the screen it's going to fly from. And if you use the D-pad, you can move it on this grid right here. Now unfortunately, I have not figured out a way where you can move this faster. You can see it's moving by half a square on your grid and this is going to be really tiring especially if you're going to do every single note manually since usually a song has more than 500 notes so if you imagine doing this 500 times without taking a break it's going to be really really tiring but just like that so let's place them um, this to change the direction of where the notes are going to fly from just use your left analog stick and you can twist it around now because it's very sensitive though if I just touch a little bit you can see how much it jumps it's quite a lot if you want to fine-tune the direction just hold on to the triangle button and then using the d-pad you can slowly move the direction that's going to fly from just like that it's the same thing. As you can see right now, we're only moving by half a square on the grid. But if you wanted to move it even less than that, hold, on, hold the uh, square button and the D-pad, and you can adjust it almost pixel by pixel where you want the icon to appear. So you can get exactly how you want to look. It just takes time. A lot of time. But just like that. Uh, usually the rule of thumb is if you have notes in the corner, like here, you don't want it to spawn from this corner of the screen because it will give the player almost no reaction time at all to uh, figure out that they have to push that note right there. Unless you just want to make a really difficult song. <laughs> but uh, if it's in the corner like this, you kind of want to place it so they give them a little bit of idea of where it's coming from and how fast they need to react to push it. But that's it for the manual notes. We go back out of here and I'll show you the preset method. So again, let's go to the second one. And this time we're going to choose the preset. This time you'll see there's a menu here. And it's based by the four sections that we uh, made uh, in the beginning during the BPM part. So every four sections of your uh, where your notes are at, this is where the preset is going to place them. So as you can see here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven notes in the first uh, section. So that's why we have the seven notes right here. And then it just gives you kind of preset locations where you can place them. I personally don't like this method because you can't mat. Even if you did this method, you would still have to use manual uh, movement to fix stuff afterwards. So I just think, why bother? You might as well just do manual the whole way through. But uh, it does save time if you kind of get used to it, I guess. But yeah, that's it for the uh, target. So the next category down here is called the chance time. So if you play the game already or you've uh, seen gameplay, 
during the song there is one chance time that will come up during the gameplay and it's basically during that part of the song every single note that you see is going to have a rainbow trail of a line going behind it and the reason why that is you'll also notice uh, your health meter on the bottom left will disappear and you'll see just a empty star right there and every accurate note that you hit during this time it will slowly fill up this star and if you hit enough correct notes uh, during this time the star will fill all the way up it'll turn into a nice bright rainbow color and then the chance time always ends with a one big star that you have to flick your controller with and chance times are worth five to five percent i believe of your total ranking uh, out of 100 percent so if you miss your chance time but let's say you get 95 percent every single note correct you would get less than 95 percent completion value because of that uh, but uh, that's chance time and so how we do this is it just asks you where you would like the chance time to start and where you would like it to end so if i find where i put my notes here zoom out a little bit so right here so there's the notes that we made so we'll pretend the notes that we made it's going to be a chance time now you have to kind of calculate this beforehand wherever you end the chance time that's where the big star icon is going to appear so you kind of have to find one part of the song where it just ends with one kind of one note and to finish it off and that's usually the best place to put the chance time here but for now we'll just pretend that this is the chance time here so just select the start of it you only get one option and you'll see the yellow highlighter and you just drag your analog stick until you're happy before you want it to end so we're just gonna pretend it ends right here and then there's where the big star is gonna spawn where you have to flick it right there that's it for chance time fairly straightforward hopefully if you mess up and you want to delete this chance time right here just push square and remember this very handy little tool delete we're just going to delete that okay and so that's it for chance time the uh, last section which is the technical zone uh, usually in the official songs, there's about two technical zones, and all it means is whenever the technical zone begins, every single note inside the technical zone has to be uh, basically fine or cool when you hit the note. If you get safe or below, it will break your combo, and then you will fail the technical zone right away. So what that means is, because 100% is a perfect score, let's say we have a really short song where there's 100 notes, and the technical zone is only 10 notes, but if you miss one note only in the whole entire song, so out of 100 notes, you miss one note, and that one note happens to be in the technical zone, because technical zones are worth 3%, automatically you're going to have 97% or lower on your clear ranking that's that's a big percentage especially it's going to be the difference between standard to great or great to excellent if you're trying to go for perfect you just have to hit every single note it's that simple basically but if you're trying to get at least excellent or great and you don't want standard it's just try and focus on the technical zones because you could do really horrible in the other parts of the song but if you get every single technical zone you'll still have a pretty high ranking so that's the one cool thing about this uh this newer uh diva uh, series but uh, just like the chance time, we're just going to select where it's going to start. Again, one option only, and you just drag it until you're satisfied. It can go pretty long because for this song here, one of my technical zones is more than 100 notes. So it'll actually say 99 notes for the technical zone when it begins, but it's actually more than 99. It's like 100 something-ish. But uh, that's how the technical zone works. And uh, that's it. I'll show you guys the uh, edit that I've completed already for this song so we can get an idea of what it kind of looks like when it's complete. So once you're done with your edit, uh, I'll explain a few more things in the menu system. So if you push start, you see a bunch of stuff here. So this is basically save, like I explained before, and this is load. Uh, this right here is just the default sound effects so you can actually ch choose what you want the default to be when it, when it, somebody plays their edit or your edit sorry 
uh, what the sounds like it's going to be when you push the buttons. They can change it, but by default, it'll change to whatever you choose in this option right here. And uh, right here, this is the uh, password uh, to protect your edit from letting other people edit. By default, it's off. So if you leave it off, somebody else, when they download your edit, they could actually just load it up and continue editing it as if they made it themselves. So if you don't want to, if you don't want that to happen, just put a password on it. Uh, right here, this is where you just input the information for your song. And then go in here, you can choose, you know, the title of the song, the creator, the comments. I cannot read that, so you can put more stuff in it though, I guess. Yeah, I can't read it. <laughs> and the last one is the uh, difficulty for the song, or you can choose the rating for it. Uh, this is just choosing the models that you want for your uh, edit, so it's not re it's not relevant to uh, what we're doing here. I'm gonna go down one here. Yeah, that's it for that menu. So we zoom out here. Uh, this is the target. So we'll zoom back in. So you can see here, I've already done the whole song. There's the all these different shapes that you can place for it. So let's zoom out and find our technical zones here. So I have two. This is the first one right here, I believe. Let's see here. Alright. Oh, that's the chance time. Oh, there it is. So I put the first technical zone for the guitar solo uh, done by this ring right here. And then the second technical zone, just a little bit down here. It's the really, really long one that I have done. As, as you can see, it's pretty long. It's almost like three seconds of that. It's like 30 seconds almost. play and show you what I mean by the technical zone. So I managed to uh, get the safe just after the technical zone, so that's that was perfect. If it was one note ahead, then I would have failed the uh, technical zone. But uh, that's it, I believe, for making your own uh, notes. And uh, that's it. Uh, one last thing, which is to basically tell the edit when your uh, song is over. I guess it won't know that automatically, you actually have to tell it. You go to the very, very top. This is the uh, marker. And you can see here, once you're uh, satisfied with when you want the song to end, just select it, or you work it in. And it's the last option right here. So if I did that, see how you move toward the end of the song is now, just a little bit more. But uh, that's it, hopefully this tutorial helps you guys out. And have fun.